Lauren Newton enjoyed a casual stroll on the Gold Coast on Saturday with her husband, retired Olympic swimmer Matt Welsh, and three of their six children. The doting mum cut an effortlessly chic figure in a pink floral blouse, blue jeans and tan wedge heels as she pushed her son Albie, one, in his pram. It comes ahead of Sunday Night Slogie Awards where her mother Patty Newton will present the inaugural award named in honor of Lauren's late father Bert Newton. Lauren accessorized with stylish sunglasses, stud earrings and a delicate necklace, and styled her blonde locks into an effortless ponytail. She looked to have worn minimal makeup, drawing attention to her natural beauty. Matt, 45, who wed Lauren in 2006, cut a casual figure in a blue t-shirt, black shorts, black socks pulled up and red sneakers. The family looked to have picked up a few essentials at the local shops, with Matt carrying several bags. Lauren and Matt share six children together, Sam, 13, Eva, 12, Lola, 9, Monty, 5, Perla, 3, and Albie. The sighting comes ahead of Sunday Night Slogie Awards where Patty, 77, will present the inaugural award named in honor of her late husband Bert. According to the Daily Telegraph, the showbiz legend will honor Bert by presenting the Bert Newton Award for Most Popular Presenter at the star-studded ceremony. The trophy was recently renamed to honor the late TV veteran, who died age 81 last year following a health battle. The ceremony will be filled with countless Aussie A-listers, including Carl Stefanovic, Julia Morris, Sophie Monk, Hamish Blake, Waleed Ali, Dylan Algott and more. Patty gave a moving tribute to her late husband during a Mother's Day concert in May. She joined the Aussie Pops Orchestra event, held at Melbourne's Hamer Hall, and sang a trio of songs devoted to Bert. Photos of the late TV legend Bert were projected above the stage as Patty made her tender salute in song. One of the numbers was a special tune simply called for Bert. She also delivered a touching version of Unforgettable which, according to reports, did not leave a dry eye left in the house. Patty, who was married to Bert for 47 years, laid her husband to rest in November. Bert had his leg amputated last year after a toe infection that led to another range of complications.